Hey guys, oh, oh my god, I just like slapped my thigh when I said that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a September favorites video. Um, this is mostly makeup. There are a couple, couple little random things throughout as well. So let's go ahead and just get started. So first is the Degree Motion Sense Dry Spray deodorant. Um, I sweat a lot and I don't know I can never find the right deodorant for me for years and then I just like decided to try the new spray deodorants Dove has some too and they work so well like I don't smell the whole day and I sweat so this is great find it at Target or like Walmart Walgreens you know good next is the catwalk hot iron spray this is heat protectant um, and I've been straightening my hair almost every single day which is like not good for your hair but if you do straighten or put any type of heat on your hair you should always use heat protectant keep hearing it um but yeah this has been my favorite for a little while now and it smells really good and i think it does a good job at protecting my hair i guess last random thing is a pair of shoes these are the double strap leather Birkenstocks in black. Ooh, you can see my toes. That's so ugh. Um, but just wanted to show them really quickly. I'm still trying to break them in. I keep getting blisters, but I know that you kind of have to break them in a little bit before they become, like, so comfortable. But from what I can wear of them, I like them. Let's get into the makeup. Uh, the first thing is the Tarte Lid Lock Eye Base in Buff. This is an eye primer, and this is what it looks like. I've made a nice little denty. I meant dent, but it just, okay, whatever. And I have oily eyelids and I have hooded eyes, so I have everything working against me when it comes to eyeshadow. And I have finally found a product that helps me keep my eyeshadow from creasing just a little bit longer. Um, so this does have the Amazonian clay, so it dries out your eyelids. Like it dries, it soaks in the oil without like drying it out. I don't know. Lady at Alta explained it really well and I got it and I like it. Next is the Wet n Wild Skinny Tip Eyeliner Mega Slim something something. Uh, Wet n Wild Eyeliner, Liquid Liner. That's what it looks like. It's a felt tip. Um, really like it. It has a little shaker in it. And I still am not the greatest at doing wings but I do like just liquid liner to intensify my lash line and when I do this is my favorite love also I know I did just do a review on the Fenty products but I quickly want to mention them just again the foundation the highlighter and the gloss bomb really big fan of those I'm just gonna put those to the side I won't touch I won't talk about them too much uh, next is eyeshadow palettes. Who doesn't love an eyeshadow palette? Um, I am talking about the Jeffree Star eyeshadow palettes. These, I never use one without the other. I have to use them both. I combo it. Um, the Beauty Killer palette was the first palette of his that I got. If I can open it up. And this is what it looks like. It's very all over the place. It's really hard for me to create a cohesive look out of just this palette. But, alongside Androgyny, these two are great. His formula is great. The pigmentation, the blendability, the pan size for what you're paying. Uh, this is the next one. Oh my gosh, isn't that just so pretty to look at? Like, I'm looking in the viewfinder. Sorry. Yeah, I just, I, the colors are so cohesive and pretty, and I love them all, and I'm, I'm really into this palette. I could use this by itself, but I use them both. I don't wanna. Uh, the next palette is the Jaclyn Hill. X Morphe collab palette and this is what it looks like this again is just beautiful to look at in the viewfinder um, but this palette I've been using so much even if I just want to do a quick crease color just to add some definition I go to this palette 
really good investment you're getting 35 shades for $38 so that's a little more than a dollar per shadow next is the wet n wild contouring palette even though there's only two so it's not really a palette but that's what it's called uh, this is what it looks like it has a banana powder and I say banana powder I mean yellow powder like same thing you know and then a contour shade I like using it as a bronzer shade just to kind of warm myself up I know you can't really see that well that I do it maybe I'm just bad at it still you know learning but I really like bronzing my hairline makes it look good the next thing is the Maybelline instant re age rewind concealer everybody loved this product and still loves it and I picked it up like just last year and um, really started using it this year and I love it I use it for underneath my eyes and any other place I want to highlight and it's a really nice, like, creamy, blendable concealer. Concealer. Next is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is green. My face, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation all over my face, and so this really just helps set a nice neutral base for my foundation. Next is the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Soft Spoken. Um, I always go back to this color occasionally when it starts to become fall. It doesn't feel like fall, but I'm trying to trick myself. It's almost October. It should feel like fall. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. But really into this shade. It's just like a, a mauve pinky brown. Then I have the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. This lip liner has been my go-to for the past three weeks. Uh, it's been with every lip combo, even colors that don't even match this, I'm, I'm into it. Next I have Jeffree Star's Summer Chrome Collection Velour Liquid Lipstick, that's a mouthful, in Calabasas. This color for the summer and kind of trickling down into fall is just, ooh, sneak peek. <laughs> uh, just the perfect color. I really thought it wasn't going to look good on my skin tone, but it does. Professional. Again, combo oily skin. Really like to put this in my T-zone, and it works. Sephora Collection Green Concealer. This is the best green concealer I have tried in a while, and I have tried a lot of green concealers. Like I said, hyper hyper pigmentation. It's not really a word, but hyper pigmentation is. Um, and this just helps. The Anastasia Brow Wiz is my favorite brow product. I can't get over it and I'm almost out. I have the tiniest bit left and I need to get to Sephora and get another one. Also, I'm like pulling out of this Halloween bucket. How festive am I? This is the Doso Colors collab with Katie and Desi. This is their eyeshadow palette. I love these shadows. Every time I wear one of these colors, somebody always asks me what I'm wearing on my eyes. And it's this. And I think it's a really good deal for these four shadows. The formulation is something I've never seen before in regular eyeshadows. And yeah, I think they did a really good job with this palette. So there you go. Next has been my mascara combination. It's been the Maybelline Lots of Lashes. Well, Great Lash Lots of Lashes. Mixed with the Lancome Monsieur Big. I don't know, I dropped out of French. I really, really like this. This gives me volume and length. Only one more thing in my bucket. And that is Becca Champagne Pop. Uh, the internet went completely crazy over this highlighter when Jaclyn Hill partnered with Becca to launch it. And I'm just now getting it this year. And loving it. Loving it. This highlighter is my go-to highlighter. The cute limited edition one. The champagne bottle and bubbles. It's really cute. But yeah, that was my favorite. Sorry I started to go fast. I know that these videos can drag on, so I wanted to pick up the pace. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Do I say bye weird?